Imagine this, advanced alien civilizations out there so technologically superior that the very idea of invading Earth seems almost primitive to them. First off, let's talk about astro mining. These aliens, they're not just looking at planets like Earth for resources. No, they're aiming for the stars quite literally. They're mining asteroids and comets, which are like cosmic treasure troves, filled with metals like iron, nickel, and even the flashy ones like gold and platinum. Comets aren't just dirty snowballs in space, they're rich in water ice, which is super valuable, maybe for life support or even as fuel. And why stop at small celestial bodies? These advanced beings could be mining entire planets or moons that don't have any life to worry about, meaning no ethical dilemmas about ruining ecosystems or anything like that. Now let's go even bigger. Imagine robots and drones, not like anything we have on Earth, but super advanced, doing all this mining work. These aren't your average rovers. They're sophisticated machines that can work autonomously, maybe even in deep space far beyond our current reach. We're talking about places so remote, so alien, that we can't even imagine what it's like there. But wait, there's more. Energy harnessing on a scale that's mind-blowing. Have you heard of Dyson Spheres? These are like giant structures, theoretical for us, but maybe reality for them, built around stars to capture energy. That's right, they could be using stars as their personal power stations. And it doesn't stop there. They might be doing something called stellar lifting. Sounds sci-fi, right? But imagine extracting matter and energy directly from a star itself, using something like magnetic fields. That's harnessing power on a scale that's hard to even fathom for us. And then there's this concept of zero-point energy. It's the kind of energy that exists in the vacuum of space, the lowest possible energy state. For these aliens, tapping into that could mean an endless supply of energy. It's like having an infinite battery that never runs out. But here's where it gets really wild. These aliens could be masters of material synthesis. They might have this technology that lets them build materials atom by atom, molecule by molecule. We're talking about creating stuff with precision that's way beyond our current technology. And why mine for rare elements when you can just make them? They could be turning common elements into rare ones through nuclear transmutation. It's like alchemy, but real and on a cosmic scale. And don't get me started on nanotechnology and biological synthesis. These aliens might be using nanotech in ways we can only dream of, building complex materials and devices from the ground up. They could also be bioengineering organisms to produce or refine materials they need. It's like having tiny factories at a molecular level. So, when you think about all this, the idea of these aliens needing to invade Earth for resources seems almost laughable. They're playing on a whole different level, a cosmic game where Earth is just another speck in the universe. It's a perspective that's both humbling and awe-inspiring, reminding us of the vast possibilities that could exist out there in the stars. Imagine advanced alien civilizations out there cruising around the galaxy. They're not just looking at stars and black holes, they're on the hunt for planets, and not just any planets, but ones that are habitable, teeming with potential. Now picture this. They've got technology so advanced that they can spot these exoplanets, which are planets outside our own solar system, light years away. And we're not just talking about a handful of them. In this vast, almost infinite universe, with billions of galaxies, each brimming with billions of stars, the number of planets that could support life is mind-boggling. For these advanced beings, Earth is just one in a sea of countless options. But here's where it gets really interesting. They're not just looking for Earth 2.0, no, they're scoping out planets with all sorts of environments. Some might be like our home, sure, but others could be wildly different and yet still perfect for life. Imagine worlds with oceans of liquid methane or skies filled with neon gases, stuff right out of a science fiction novel, but potentially a reality for these aliens. And then there's the resource angle. Some of these planets might be chock full of stuff these aliens need more so than Earth, we're talking about planets at just the right stage for mining or colonization, or even untouched labs for scientific research. And location, 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 they could be finding planets in prime spots near cosmic phenomena that we can only dream of studying up close. But wait, it gets even wilder. What if these aliens aren't carbon-based like us? This changes the game completely. They might have a whole different set of needs for their version of a habitable planet. Imagine silicon-based life forms cruising around, looking for planets that would be hellish for us, but paradise for them. They might be basking in radiation that would fry us or chilling in temperatures that would freeze us solid. And their energy sources, 
We're talking about stuff beyond our current understanding, not just relying on sunlight, but maybe feeding off cosmic radiation or thermal vents in ways that are totally alien to us. So, what does all this mean for Earth? Well, in the grand scheme of things, our little blue planet might not be that special. It's just one of many, many options out there and maybe not even the most attractive one. These aliens might be more interested in exploring a variety of planets, each with its own unique flavor and potential. They're making strategic choices, picking and choosing from a cosmic menu that's way more diverse than our Earth-centric perspective. In this vast universe, Earth could just be another stop on the intergalactic highway. A nice place to visit, but maybe not the top destination on the alien travelers list. Imagine if advanced alien civilizations out there have gone beyond just building cool spaceships and gadgets. They're thinking on a whole different level about their place in the universe. So, these aliens, they might have something like the Prime Directive from Star Trek. It's this rule that says, hey, let's not mess with those less advanced civilizations. They believe that every society should evolve and grow on its own, without someone from the stars coming in and stirring the pot. It's all about cosmic ethics, respecting the natural flow of cultures and societies. But there's more to it. These aliens could see themselves as guardians of the universe. It's not just about not interfering, it's about protecting and preserving the incredible diversity out there. Every planet with life, every civilization, whether it's us humans or some strange alien life form, is a precious part of this vast cosmic tapestry. They're like cosmic librarians making sure every story gets to be told, every culture gets to flourish in its own unique way. Now let's talk about how they see us, the unpredictable humans. History's full of stories where the little guy puts up a big fight. These aliens with their advanced brains, they know this. They understand that if they tried to invade Earth, it might not go as smoothly as they'd like. We humans are full of surprises, and that's a risk they might not want to take. And then there's the whole issue of diseases. Remember how when Europeans came to the Americas, it didn't go so well for the native populations disease-wise? Well, these aliens are smart enough to worry about that happening to them or us. They wouldn't want to start an interstellar pandemic. It's not just about being kind, it's about being safe. Lastly, let's think about the cost of war versus just getting along. War, invasion, all that stuff is expensive and messy. Why go through all that when you can just make what you need or trade peacefully? Plus, if they're just observing, learning from us without interference, they get a much clearer picture of who we are, what makes us tick. It's like they're watching an epic human drama unfold, and they don't want to miss a single episode by causing chaos. Earth might not be that special on their cosmic shopping list. Think about it. The universe is like this giant warehouse filled to the brim with everything you could imagine. Basic stuff like hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, the building blocks of life, are just floating around everywhere in stars, gas clouds all over space. And those rare Earth elements we're so crazy about on Earth, well, they might be as common as dirt on other planets or moons. It's all about where you look and what you find. The universe is way more diverse than we can imagine, with planets and moons cooking up all kinds of elemental recipes. Now, let's talk about where these advanced aliens might go shopping for resources. Asteroids, for starters. They're like little gold mines floating around with metals like platinum and gold. It's way easier to grab stuff from them than deal with Earth's gravity and all our ecological drama. And then, there are gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Can you imagine the stuff you could find there? They've got moons that could be loaded with resources, things like helium-3, which is like the dream fuel for fusion reactors. But the really cool part is what these aliens could do with all this stuff. We're not just talking about mining and drilling. These guys could be way ahead of us, making elements and materials from scratch. Think about it. Why dig for gold when you can just make it? They could be using mind-boggling tech to build materials atom by atom, exactly how they want them. That's like playing Lego on a molecular level. And then there's the whole recycling gig. If you're smart enough to zip around in space, you're probably not going to waste anything. They could be recycling like pros, using every last bit of what they gather, so they don't need to keep taking more. So when you put all this together, Earth might just not be that big of a deal for these spacefarers. We're like a small convenience store on a street full of supermalls. Sure, we've got some neat stuff, but there's a whole universe out there filled with wonders and resources far beyond our wildest dreams. It's a humbling thought, but also kind of exciting to think about the incredible things that might be out there, just waiting to be discovered by someone or something cruising through the stars. 
And as always, we hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.